Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering Draft video. It's Al here with you. This is How to Draft MTG. We're jumping into another Neon Dynasty premiere draft. Also streaming this to Twitch for the first time ever. Uh, I'll be streaming ever so occasionally. Uh, and uh, if you want to check that out, that's twitch.tv slash howtodraftmtg. As always, click like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. It does help the channel a huge amount. There's some contact info in the description below if you'd uh, like to reach out, say hello. I do offer coaching, stuff like that. Would love to chat with you. If you want to support me directly, that's the way to do it. Thank you so much. Let's jump into it here. We've got a medium rare blue land that can discard to bounce a thing for four mana. Uh, maybe three, because sometimes you have a legendary creature. So these are always fine, and you're always going to uh, include them in your decks if they're on color, but I, I don't think you want to start with them. I would rather take like a tap land over these because fixing is actually really important in this set. So I don't think we're going to be starting with that, although this pack's kind of weak. Uh, Leech Gauntlet's probably the best on common. Maybe Flame Discharge, neither are very exciting. Reconfigure that costs more than like two mana is just way too much to ever really matter. And this doesn't add power and toughness, so it's just not that useful in the late game. But two mana, two, two lifelink is totally reasonable. Jukai Pre Preserver is a good green card. I like starting green when possible. I also like starting black when possible. Um, so I think we're going to take Jukai Preserver here. This pack's very weak. I think green allows us to stay pretty open. I could see taking the land there. I could see taking the Leech Gauntlet there as well. Um, we're taking the Preserver. Away we go. Uh, malicious Malfunction. Small creatures just don't matter enough in this format for this card to actually be any good uh, your opponents are generally not trying to run you down with a bunch of two toughest creatures although that does happen occasionally most decks are just trying to outvalue you with uh, sagas and uh, creatures with enter the battlefield effects and uh, a small wrath like this just really doesn't do anything so the cards we're looking at here are azusa's many journeys generous visitor and that's pretty much it there's a tap duel um, but uh, these two are both premium green cards in my uh, in my opinion. I think uh, I think they're I think they're actually kind of close. Generous Visitor is not as amazing as I thought it would be initially in the spoiler, but I think we are going to take it here. We already have an enchantment creature. We've got lots of time to find enchantments. You always want enchantments, anyways, because uh, enchantments are sort of what's up in this format. So we'll we'll start the visitor here. And go from there. Pick three. Got two solid green cards. Uh, there's a roadside reliquary here. Totally fine card. Uh, I would be down to play it. Intercessor's Arrest, similarly. Uh, so, it's actually, just back to reliquary for a second. So, I would play this as land number 18, more than likely, in uh, a deck that could reliably trigger it. I don't think you're really playing this if it's only drawing you one card. But if you can get two cards off of it... You're, you're pretty happy, but I still don't think you're playing... I think you're playing 18 lands if you're playing this. Uh, Arrest is decent. Removal is not very good in this set. But the fact that this is an enchantment is nice. Uh, and then I think the card we're actually going to take here is Virus Beetle. One of the top performing black commons. Uh, it's a two for one. You can uh, rebuy it with ninjutsu creatures and use it again. It counts as an artifact, which matters. It's a two drop, which curve does matter here. It triggers Kami of Terrible Secrets, which we're going to try to wheel out of this pack. And uh, this is just a solid little buddy. So we're going to pick him up and go from there. Similarly, we've got Circuit Mender, who's fixing the thing that Virus Beetle is wrecking, I guess. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, similarly, a nice value creature. If you could pick it up, you get, you, you know, you get some serious value, put it back to <laughs> play it again, and then have a trade-off or something. That's really good. So, you know, we'll be looking for ways to pick it up with uh, creatures like this that have ninjutsu. Uh, Season of Renewal is a solid role player. We always, I think you always want one of these pretty in any deck. Um, it's funny. I don't really think of this format. I do, I, I'm not really thinking about color in this format. I mean, I am. Like, I want to start black or I want to start green. But that's more just because black and green have the good cards. Um, I, there's enough fixing where like you can kind of just play whatever colors you want if you're prioritizing the tapped uh, dual lands. So I f uh, that's why I'm saying pretty much every deck wants a Season of Renewal. You're basically either a multicolor, um, good stuff, value, 
late game grind them out deck or you're really trying to aggro your, aggro your opponent down, in which case you would not want Season of Renewal. But um, for the most part, I, I'm not trying to play aggro in this format. So there you go. Uh, Tawashi Guidebot. So this is like a lower tier value card, but it does sit there and start taking over the game. Uh, it's got a nice ETB. It's an artifact, which is cool as well. Uh, there's really not much else to look at in this pack. So I think we will take it here. Repel the Vial is a bad removal spell that we might play if we end up in white and we end up wheeling it. Uh, Return to Action is a nice little trick. This is really good with Sagas that have flipped over because you get to uh, restart them again. Uh, Chainful of Centipede is not good. Shadow Walker is not good. Swift Rider Cliffs, Cliffs is good, but it touches... Uh, red, which is generally speaking not uh, a color that has good cards for uh, a, a grindy value deck like this. Um, and red, at its best, is an aggro deck, which doesn't really want too many tap duels because it wants to play one drops. Um, all right. So sort of thinking about signals here, like we haven't really seen any strong color signals in the last two picks. We've taken colorless cards, which is good because we know we get to play them. And our artifact count is actually now getting up, you know, getting higher, which means uh, um, if we pick up a uh, network terminal, we might be able to actually utilize that as well. Uh, here we're just going to take Jukai Trainee. It's a solid two drop. Unfortunately, it's not an enchantment. Uh, we could take Befriending the Moths, but I've found this card to be kind of low impact. The, the times when it's good, it, it seems really, really good because you're just beating down your opponent. But uh, when you're behind, it, it's really, really bad. So... Uh, I'd rather just take solid sort of power and toughness cards over more situational stuff like that. Uh, although, generally speaking, the Sagas are very good in this set, so we'll be hoping to pick up a few of those. Uh, we got another Haven. We uh, an Uncharted... I'm sorry, we have another Preserver we could pick up, and I think we probably will, but we, there's also the Uncharted Haven. We do want access to some amount of fixing, and this is one of the better ways to do that, um, because if we open... A good rare or if we get past uh, an imperial oath in white we'll want to try to splash that so uh, we're on the lookout for those lands but i do like being a jukai preserver so i'm going to take that there and we'll see uh if we regret it later pack is quite bad i think the only card we have a chance of playing is brute suit and i don't think there's a very high chance we're going to play it so i'm going to put it in the sideboard but if we end up uh, in a desperate spot, we can rock it. Tranquil Cove, uh, double off off color of what we have now. That that being said, we have not seen much black, so I think we can sort of in, uh, in our heads just sort of say black is not really flowing from the the right. So we're not gonna um, you know necessarily get deep into it. But again, uh, you can sort of just do whatever if you get the fixing. So it's either Tranquil Cove here or Searchlight Companion. Uh, I think I'm going to take Tranquil Cove. I do like Searchlight Companion quite a bit, but I think we're kind of hoping if we're not going to be base black and we are going to be base green, that we can pick up some white cards and then this would then allow us to maybe splash uh, like a turtle or something big if we open that. So I do like the Searchlight Companion, but it's a little bit better in a more ninja-heavy deck, whereas as our deck is not that. Um... We have a lot of fours, so I don't really want this Seven Tail Mentor, but I don't really want any of these other cards either, so we'll take it here. Okay, so Kami comes back. This is just kind of an underrated card in the format. Um, if you're uh, seeing this go late, snap it up. It definitely does work for you. Uh, it's great with Virus Beetle. We have, a, we have a pile of artifacts already that we want to play. The bots know we want to take it. Uh, I could see taking Network Terminal if this wasn't here. It'd kind of be an easy pick. But yeah, this card's like really good. It shouldn't be going 11th. So um, the fact that you can still sort of count on wheeling that right now is is nice because you can see, you can see that in the pack and go, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this medium artifact and wheel this this Kami, and I'm gonna be really happy about it. Uh, we'll take Short Circuit here as a card we could potentially play if we really needed to, and a Return to Action. So we have some playable black cards, but nothing that's like very exciting so hopefully um, we can just find some some nice things to do in, in pack two here signals in pack one were tough the packs were quite weak uh, I think as I've said probably way too many times already in this video you're just kind of defaulting to like a green 
or black kind of multicolor deck with with good fixing and you just play the best cards that you get past um so we're definitely doing that in this situation because we did not get any signals in pack one that like any specific archetype is actually available um so we're definitely just sort of bobbing and weaving uh this card's pretty expensive i don't think we're interested in it dockside chef is cool it's good to grind um, it'd be better if we had that searchlight companion. We could wheel one. I kind of just want to take Reckoner Raid here. Uh, there's Ambusher. Dockside Chef is a good card, though. I but I really like Reckoner Raid as well. I think that's I think that's a close one. Here we'll pick up a Gloom Shrieker. Despite not really seeing any good signals, we have the start of a black green deck, so we can we could certainly play Gloom Shrieker. I uh, would love to wheel this Fang, but I don't think that happens anymore in this format, unfortunately. Uh, used to be that you could get the Fangs pretty reliably, and then your Master's Rebukes and your Spinning Wheel Kicks were, like, always on. Um, and that doesn't happen as much now, but I think the best card in this pack, far and away, is the Gloom Shrieker. You've got Kamano faces Kakazan for a red aggressive deck. That card is pretty scary when it comes down turn one, but... Uh, we're nowhere near drafting that deck, so uh, we'll, we'll stick with the, the uh, dance with the date that brought us here. Um, bunch of junk in this pack. Just take a fade. This kills a lot of things. And uh, we're in green, so cool. Spinning Wheel. Master's Review. We were just talking about both of these cards. So I think we'll take the Spinning Wheel. Um, even if we don't get the fangs we have double juke eye preserver which is more than likely going to be a four power creature we try we're going to try to pick up the kami that uh, picks up enchantments and that's good with this too so if you have you know anything with like four power this thing can still still rock but uh um you want the uh the fangs for sure so we'll hope hope to pick some of those up there's also a master's rebuke but the the power level of of spinning wheel kick i think uh, is you know the tempo and killing things early just doesn't matter that much most of the time you're getting into the late game and just like whoever's got the better end game uh, is going to win so that that's the way that the format's really been playing out for me you do have to pressure your opponents for sure you can't just sit there and do nothing but like um, fortunately the best cards in the set pressure and advance your late game plan uh, for example, Boseiju, which draws you two lands so you can cast your big spells and then is a big creature that uh, punishes your opponent. So we're going to snap that up here. We do want to pay a little bit of attention to our curve as it's a bit four-drop heavy. Not really see any white that we care about. So I'm going to put the Mentor in the board. So we're not really interested in splashing it. We actually did get some black cards. Um, so I think we'll... Uh, that being said, we're getting past Fall of Lord Kanda. So we can take Jukai Preserver number three, but, I mean, as you can see, we're we're pretty long on fours here, so I think we will take Fall. Uh, we don't have a great way to splash it as of yet, but I think we can play it. It's very, People are very split on this card. It's very interesting. Um, I thought it was going to be... I, when I first saw it, I thought it wouldn't be good, and then... As I read more content, I was like, oh, yeah, this, no, this card's really good. There's, it's mana value four, so, like, that, that'll that catch a lot of things. And then it's just value after that, and you can pick it up and reuse it and all that stuff. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, I haven't really gotten a chance to play with it all that much in this format, so we'll see. Um, we'll see how it does today. Papercraft Decoy. Sure. Hope to not play it. It's okay with ninjas, especially the cheap ninjas, the uh, one-mana blue one. Uh, Moon Circuit Hacker It's quite good with this The more expensive ninjas Not so much Okay, Harmonious Emergence is a card that's actually Pretty pretty annoying So I'm going to take it Again, we have a lot of 4 drops But nothing else in that pack we can really play Okay, here's a pack that we actually have to make a decision So In Inkrise Infiltrator is just a good card by itself uh, Mukatai Ambusher Let's us pick up Virus Beetle and Papercraft Decoy and Circuit Mender. So I think there's enough synergy there that we should take that. We could take Coiling Stalker as well. 
And I actually don't know what the correct pick is between the two. This is an artifact, which matters for Kami's Terrible Secrets, so we'll say that's our t that's our tiebreaker. Uh, but the fact that you can just cast the snake on two, sometimes that matters. But uh, but but again, as we've said, the format's just not that fast. And the lifelink on Mukatai can catch you up if you're behind. So I think it's Mukatai Ambusher. Um, but uh, there's some different uh, sort of criteria there. We'll take Fang of Shigeki. That's a really nice to see. I, I, as I said, that wasn't going to wheel, and here we are. Um, so green actually is flowing from, I don't know, both directions, kind of. We got a Boseiji. We, we wheel the Fang. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this draft. The packs have been kind of weird, but I think our I think our deck is decent. We got good card card quality, but we need uh, we need a real banger here. Flying trample. I mean, we're just gonna take up another Besiege, I think. This is, the three colors we're not playing. Uh, you could be five color in this format. It definitely happens, but. Um, Let's take another Besage This card just demands an answer and is easy to cast and uh, does all the things you want to do. We've got one removal spell, two removal spells. So yeah, we're not actually doing that badly for removal. Um, I was kind of looking at this in Intercessor's Arrest thinking, would we need to uh, maybe pick that up here and try to splash it? But And, and we've got Fall of Lorconda, so we're, we're doing fine. Uh, okay. Light Pause... No, that's not not a good splash card. Thirst for Knowledge is a decent splash. For sure. Um, I think we just take one of these two on color. I think we just take uh, Tales of Master Seshiro. It's another enchantment. We don't have any five drops yet. We already have a fade. We don't want to be too uh, long arm removal spells in this format. So we'll take the Tales... Uh, would love to wield the Thirst or the Mukatai or the Fade. And, uh, yeah. Happy with that pick. All right. Thornwood Falls. If we want to splash any blue cards, we did say we want that Thirst to wheel. Not saying it, it likely will not. Pack wasn't great, and it's an uncommon. But it could. Um, we could just pick up Leech Gauntlet here. I, I know I've said it's not great. We're unlikely to see a, a busted rare after pick three that we would actually want to splash, and we're unlikely to see the turtle at this point. So I think it's between Leech Gauntlet and Bearer. I'm going to take Leech Gauntlet because it's cheaper, but Bearer, uh, we may wheel, and we would be happy to pick that up because it's an enchantment. Uh, and it actually does have some... Some late game utility there with the six mana. Put a one one counter and gives trample, which is pretty nice when you've got like an eight eight besage you. It's a good way to kill your opponent. Uh, we'll take assassin's eight here and speed kill whatever is nice. We we we're always in the market for removal. It's just not better than a lot of the other things you can be doing in this format, but we'll take it there. Take a tanuki here. Over pretty much nothing. There's a network terminal here, but we're not uh, we're not looking like we're really trying to splash. I guess we're trying to splash fall, maybe. Um, Sunblade Sentinel also would help us splash fall. Uh, but yeah, I mean Tanuki also just helps us splash, so <laughs> we should just take that, right? Yes. All right, Papercraft decoy, Ninja's Kunai, Grafted Growth. Just a bunch a bunch of junkers here. Crafted Growth can be good if we were trying to splash, but we're kind of not. Moth Rider Patrol has not lived up to how good I thought it was going to be. I guess we'll take another decoy. If we end up with enough ninjutsu stuff, maybe we'll want to do that thing, but... Um, ooh, an Uncharted Haven, A. Eh? Yeah, we should probably grab that, because that means we can definitely play the Fall of Lord Conda. There's another Tawashi guide bot, but we've got a bunch of four drops we might even be cutting this one that we have so we're uh, we're not taking the second one here i don't think we'll take the haven oh yeah get in here season of renewal love to see it so we, we got hooked up in certain points in this draft uh, we already have a return to action do we want two or do we want a shadow walker we don't 
have that much in the uh, in the way of late game creatures, but like a five five is pretty bad, anyways. Uh, I don't think we're playing two return to actions. I don't think we're playing either of the cards. You are already dead. Not sure that's really what we're going for. But it's playable, so we'll snap it up. I don't think it's going to make our deck. Thorn will fall's wheels. We have no blue cards to splash. Shrine steward. We don't have any auras to find. Or shrines to find. Um, so yeah, this pack is just a blank for us. That's okay, though. I think we made out all right. If we wheel that 3-2, uh, that'd be nice. Don't think we're playing Heir to the Ancient Fang. I guess we could be splashing all these short circuits, right? That's what we're supposed to do. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. Do a quick deck build here. Draft was pretty straightforward. I don't I don't know that we really felt like there were any big decision points. The virus beetle and not taking the bear of memory is is something I'll think about a little. I'm sorry, not virus beetle, uh, leech gauntlet. We have enough artifacts that we're definitely playing Kami. We only have 11 enchantments, which means the visitor's a little bit worse. So maybe we're supposed to take Bearer and not uh, Spot. We're still going to play the visitor because it tends to uh, it tends to draw attention to itself no matter what <laughs> you've got going on in your deck. Um, so we'll cut the Guide Bot, I think, uh, or the Harmonious Emergence. We're definitely cutting fours. We're definitely cutting cove. Uh, we only need one planes. Because we've got a planes, we've got a haven that can be, be a planes, and we've got a tanuki that can find a planes. So we can splash the fall. Didn't get um, Geothermal Kami, unfortunately, to rebuy some of our sagas. The only one we really want to rebuy is fall, but uh, it would be cool to be able to do that. We can do that with... Um, Season, of course, and I wonder if we were supposed to take that Dockside Chef. That'd be good. With, pretty good with Fall. Good with Virus Beetle. Good with uh, Decoy. Good with Mender. We took Reckon Raid instead, which is an excellent card, and it's an enchantment. Although I think the Dockside Chef is also an enchantment. Um. But, I mean, Reckon a Raid is, is super, super good. It keep, keeps you ahead on life, so if you are getting aggroed out, that's a problem for your opponent. Uh, it doesn't really ask much of you. It's just a just a banger. Um, okay, so we got the one ninja. That's all. Uh, so let's cut Harmonious Emergence, I think. Even, uh, it is an enchantment, though. But we have too many fours. And I guess we'll cut the guide bot. Sitting around drawing cards is nice, but it's very slow. We've got Season. We've got Gloom Shrieker to, to do things. I, I guess we could just cut Papercraft Decoy. So many fours, though. Uh, or we could just cut Leech. <laughs> cut Leech Gauntlet. I know. What am I saying? One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, early plays. That's not too bad. Return to action with Virus Beetle is good. With Circuit Mender is good. With Fall, with it's good with a lot of things. I think we're going to rock it. Have a quick look at our creature curve here. So many four drops. I guess this is like not always a four. But sometimes it is. So we need to make sure we're getting the four mana on time. Maybe we need to play an 18th land. I really do want to play this Ambusher, though. I feel like it's going to be good with the Beetle. And the Mender. Maybe we just cut Leech Gauntlet. That can't be right. Can it? Is that right? Cut it for Decoy. More card draw. This card's super clunky, though. This battle's way better. 
has some effect in the late game. Hmm. It's close. It's close. All right. Well, I think we'll try it like this. Uh, we've got 10 sources of green, 7 sources of black. A lot of early black plays, though. Would have loved to have picked up like a, a black green dual land. Maybe we just cut the ambush, or maybe it's maybe it's not good enough. It's cute. It also picks up Gloom Shrieker, though. That's really nice too. I think we need to. I think we do need to play it. Um, yeah, I want to add a swamp and cut something else. We just cut fall. It's possible that that's just the right move. We've got Assassin's Inc. Yeah, I think that's the move. So now we get to play uh, 10, uh, 10 forest, 9 swamp, 18 land. We, we lose a, a, a medium removal spell. The creature hardly ever dies. It is an enchantment, which we'll, we will miss. Now we're down to 9 enchantments, which is kind of rough. Um, but... I think this is the deck. Let's give it a try. We'll see you for round one very shortly. Opponent goes first. We have a keepable hand here. Unfortunately, we don't get to play Fang on one. So we're going to play Uncharted Haven saying green, but uh, that's not too bad. Get to see if this guide bot is going to do anything in this game. Red green. Tech Wrecker. It's nice. Well, I guess we can't play Leech Gauntlet anymore, can we? So, this is not an enchantment, so it's not targetable by Fang. Or Fade, rather. Uh, yeah. Fang it up. Next turn, we can sneak in Ambusher and replay the Fang. And I think that's going to be the move. We don't, get much, we don't really get any value out of Ambusher, but our opponent's playing red, so generally speaking, when your opponent's on red, you uh, don't need to worry as much about your late game as you do about just not dying. So, I mean, if we don't do that, we'd, we're just playing Leech Gauntlet. It's a little bit mana ineff inefficient. So, yeah, I think... Um, okay, I guess... Yeah, no, if they don't block here, we, we get this untapped. So, they probably won't block. Yeah. And ninja time. Well, not the best use of this, but... We're on board. We're doing it. Next turn, Tawashi Guidebot, I think. Yeah, putting a counter on the Ambusher, probably. Or Jukai Preserver. All right, take our thing. Creature you control got 1 0 until end of turn. Okay. Um. I guess we want to go Preserver first. And we will put the counter on itself, I think. Just considering, do we want to attack with the Ambusher here? Trade off with the Tech Wrecker. It's unlikely they have a way to pick that up, but if they do have a green ninja and they get to get in, kill a thing, pick it up, that, that's real good. So do we want to trade our ambusher? I think, I kind of feel like we do. 
And if they don't block, then they're losing the damage race. Okay. I'm good with that. Let's uh, put a counter on the preserver. And away we go. The opponents buffs their team. Ah, uh, Master's Rebuke. Nice. Okay. Fair enough. They have second removal spell. They can clear our board here. Oh, and they do. That's, that's spicy. All right. So now they get to kill the Ambusher. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's real good. Okay. So this comes down as a 3-2. Not very exciting. Uh, we could fade this Shattered Sun's era. We, I guess we just do. Um, not sure what um, what else we would do here. I mean, we could just play this as a three four. It blocks uh, the three three, which has haste. Doesn't deal with the samurai. Um, we go leech gauntlet and remove this then we still don't have a uh, we, we're not able to deal with the samurai but then we're able to put uh play guide bot and pump leech gauntlet up which is kind of cool three three lifelink it spends our mana better to do it this way and there's a chance that we could get a card of value out of kami later on so i think all that adds up to we should just do it this way hopefully they don't play like a pasaju or something that will be Kind of gross if they do. That was a big turn for them. This card is very busted. Ooh, that card is also very busted. Put a 1-1 one -one counter. All right, well, I said we weren't going to get aggroed out very much in this format, but it's kind of what's happening here. Season Renewal. Get a Fang back. That would be good to hold off some attacks from them. Five mana. I mean, target creature you control. This can target itself. So playing a three, four doesn't do anything. So I think, yeah, I think the move is to Get these two guys back. Try to defend ourselves a little bit here. Try not to die. So if this was a papercraft decoy, it would not be any better right now. Just the... Yeah, the two other buddies. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like we're taking huge amounts of damage no matter what we do. So next turn... We can play Preserver, which theoretically blocks the Raiju. They only have one card in hand. Hopefully it's not something good. Uh, we want to have like both of these cards in play to trigger the Kami. I think I think we take the I think we take the hit here. We're gonna gain a life next turn off the Kami. We've got Leech Gauntlet to help gain life. Ooh, that's nice. Um, and hopefully we get to, uh, wheel kick. Right now we can only wheel kick one thing, so we're gonna, we'll hold off. We'll hold off. Alright, pass turn back. So now, yeah, if we draw a land next turn, we can hopefully kill two other things. Fang of Shigeki Styles. We will target our, actually, we'll, we'll use our... Kami of Terrible Secrets, I think. Because they could be sitting on uh, three, uh, two mana deal three. Okay. I got something for this guy. Um, Tamiyo's Safekeeping, I guess. I mean, if it's Kami's Flare and we double block Gauntlet Terrible secrets. 
We get two for one. Ideally, we get to kill both their creatures next turn. If it's um, if it's ta if it's Tamio's protection spell, it's a one for one. If it's the plus three plus three, that's a two for one. I really don't want to lose this fang. I guess we can just get it right back. Worst case, the Gloom Shrieker. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Okay, we're just trading. Okay, so they have Season of Renewal then. Or something. Um, Generous Visitor, Gloom Shrieker, get the fang back, replay the fang. Have big things. Big old leech gauntlet. Uh, do we just put on a leech gauntlet? I think so, yeah. Oh, man, we tapped wrong. Boo! Arena, you suck. Slash, I suck. Boo! Always pay attention to your tapping. Don't be like me. So we should have a fang in play. It's gonna matter too, because like we can wheel kick something next turn, potentially if we draw land. Yeah, there's season. Just getting that thing back, eh? Hasty boys. Okay, we got a little lucky there. They didn't have anything. Um, so fang. Gives lifelink, yeah. Okay, and anything to get back with the Shrieker? No. So definitely casting Fang. Preserver's kind of interesting in hand. I mean, they know we have it, but it lets us pump uh, something in his speed. Probably just get in with Kami. And then maybe we get to uh, return it to action. Do we put a counter on it? it? Makes their blocks a little more awkward if they wanted to double block. I think so. I think I like it. And then uh, next turn... Or, sorry, after this, we can just play Tawashi Guide Bot. That should put it away. The only thing we haven't done is gained much life. That's the only thing that kind of scares me, but... Don't think we're going to be in too much trouble here. They might be holding the red Invoke spell, and they don't have enough mountains. That could be it. I don't know what that does, so hopefully it doesn't kill us if they draw another mountain. Okay, we're getting wheel kicked. Gross. Okay, well that's what they were holding, waiting for his lands. So they killed Visitor Shigeki Guide Bot. That's good. That's real good. Um, I guess we're just gonna get them now though. Uh, and I guess we want to do uh, Leech Gauntlet so we gain a bunch of life, too. Yeah. Pop, pop. Gain eight casually. And hit them for ten. This is almost game. All right. On to the next... We'll see you for round two. We're back. Opponent on the play. Got, an, got a decent hand here. Fang on one. Ambusher on two. Go from there. Happy with it. All right. Opponent takes a mulligan. We're going to keep. Mulliganing is not where you really want to be. Card advantage does matter as much as ever in this format. So, 
So we're drawing lands. So that's all right. Guide bottle get us out of it, right? Ooh, nice three drop. Okay. Oh man, kind of want to hold it. I think we. I think we are just supposed to get on board here, though. As much as I would love to mess around with circuit mender. Uh, and picking it up and all the rest of that. I think we'll just be cool. We do want to. We do want to pressure where where possible. Gives our opponent less time to get their sagas online and things like that. Could have played Leech Gauntlet. Fang there. Possible we should have. Well, we can fade that. They could have Tamiya's safekeeping. So I guess we attack first. Okay, just the trade. Um, and now we either play Guidebot, which will be uh, three and tap to draw a card next turn. We'll have five mana, so we can play Leech Gauntlet and draw. Or we'd have to put the counter, I guess, on Circuit Mender. It's not that bad to do that. Your opponent already doesn't really want to kill it. Azusa. Nice. Very nice. We do this on their end step, I suppose. All right, opponent's seen enough. We'll be back for game three. Game three, we go first. Uh, this hand is a little awkward. We can't cast any of the spells in our hand unless we draw a land. And at that point, we are not doing anything for the first four turns of the game. Um, mulliganing on the play is very hurtful. You can get yourself into some rough situations. I mean, this wheel kick is, like, essentially uncastable. So we need to draw land plus a two drop. Or a one drop pretty early on. I think we go down. I think we go down. This hand's also not great. Um... Rather than putting Seshiro back or putting a land back. Probably going to lose this game. Uh, these hands have been real bad. Or we just put Season back. It's just that Season is so so clutch. Uh, to get... To recoup the uh, card advantage we've lost here. By mulliganing. It's so nice to have that. I think we'll put this... I think we'll put the Tails back. We want to hit our land drops... Um, for Season and for Gloom Shrieker to be able to cast them and then still be able to play other things. But, uh... Yikes! See if we can get away with one here. Not looking good. Not looking good. Uh, I guess we're playing Gloom Shrieker to try to block that. Because we can't ever... Can't ever not block against Blue Black. They'll do real bad things to you. No attacks. Dig it. Dig it. Okay. Uh, so we have to kill the Fur Master right now. We could kill the Puzzle Maker. Since we do kind of want this game to go long. And 
that is going to generate a lot of advantage for them. They can ninjutsu off of it, whereas right now they can't ninjutsu off the silver fur because we have a blocker. Um, so yeah, I actually think we're supposed to kill the puzzle maker here. And we'll just hold up. Hope to draw uh, like a Basaju or something. Something good like that. Opponent's going to hit a removal spell sooner or later, but if we can hold this off for a couple turns, that'll be nice. Okay, well now we have to deal with this. <laughs> How awkward. They're coming in. All right, we're definitely blocking. Fang of Shigeki. That's a nice one. That's a, that's a great draw. Tussles with the, the Steel Breaker. We can trade it off. We can get back uh, both. Oh, no. The Gloom Shrieker doesn't go to the graveyard. All right. I, for, I always forget that. But anyways, Fang is good. Hold off their creature. Try to find more action. Get it back later. That's what we're all about in this uh, format. No attacks. Okay. Well, we're going to chill as well. Okay, so they're actually more of a black red deck than they are uh, a ninja's deck. Well, they're actually they're kind of just spread out everywhere, I guess. Fortunately, we're at a high life total. We have access to fade, which can deal with the anvil. So we got a lot of time. We got a long time before we're really in trouble with this. Ah, oh, the kick. Well, I don't think we're supposed to use that yet. There's a small chance they've got minus two, minus two at instant speed to uh, interact. So I think we hold off. Uh, also, we'll play this land if we draw another land next turn, then we get to kill three things. This leaves us vulnerable to the mind rot, but I've, I've really not seen that card very much. They're more likely to have an interaction spell than, uh, than the mind rot. So we're taking two a turn because we can't block a 1-1 one -one right now. That's okay, though. We got life points. Okay, another land, and that's it. No play from our opponent. I think we're just going to chill. We got time. They don't want to commit to the board. We'll chill. In for one. No blocks. Ninjutsu. Oh, dear goodness. Okay. All right. All right. Well, now we're definitely going to kill three things here. I and mean, if they have... Um... Oh, man. If they've got voltage surge, we just lose, essentially. Is there any world where we play Preserver here? We can't. Uh, I mean, we've got the Fang does block the Walker. It doesn't really. It doesn't really help us against Voltage Surge because they can sack the one one and kill the Preserver anyways. Kind of feels like we just have to shoot our shot here. I wonder if we just pass to combat. No, their game will always pause because they've got Steel Breaker in play. I 
I think we go. I think we have to go for it. If they have it, they have it. They do have it. I think. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, like, what happens if we don't do that? They voltage surge us on their turn, and they hit us for nine, anyways. So, not nothing. Um, to really be done there. I mean, I guess we, we would have cast a preserver and we would have taken, uh, we would have had to chump the steel breaker. They would have sacked this. I mean, it's, there's just not, not really a way we're winning the game, um, from that spot. So that's okay. Mulligan into a very, very bad hand and, uh, opponent had the exact right cards at the right time. And, uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. We'll see you for the next Opponents on the play. We got a nice, nice little grip here. Opponent is uh, starting strong though with Commune. Don't see this card as much as you used to. Reckon a raid. Too little, too late there. All right, well, we'll answer their companion with a virus beetle. How's that? Then Circuit Mender, I guess, next turn. Probably the move. Okay. Nice. Uh, we could probably reckon a raid trainee. But they're not attacking the fang anyways because we've got virus beetles. So I think we play circuit mender here. And next turn, raid trainee, I guess. Or we could go raid fetch a land, but we're getting pretty close to Tanuki mana as it is. So I don't think we want to do that. Nice. Okay. Boom Shrieker is a good one. Yeah. Very good. So, if Preserver comes in, we can double block a Beetle Trainee on it. Get Circuit Mender involved. It's not going to attack. Okay, drain. Tanuki is annoying. So, yeah, I think we just play Jukai Preserver. We still have good blocks on Tanuki, actually. Put it on itself. So that we have a 4 4 that can. Tussle with their 4-4 in the future. Want Circuit Mender to die. That'd be good. wonder if we can make that happen. If they attack with Tanuki, we can. We might have to put like a bunch of stuff in front, though. All right, something's getting rebuked, it looks like. Tammy's completion. Okay, sure. In. Okay, well, I'm fine with that. Double block. They probably have season in hand, but we also have, um, I guess they have completion, we just get rocked, but, um, yeah, I mean, we've got our own card advantage engine going on here as well, so. Ooh. Man, if, if, one more mana. One more mana. So awkward. Don't want to do any of these things. I suppose it's just tails. 
pump captain. Try to draw. Hope, hope to draw a land next turn. Or we go Gloom Shrieker, get the trainee back, put it into play, try not to die. We're not in, under any pressure, though. I'd rather get the Circuit Mender back Another, uh, on a following turn. In for four. So they definitely have Season, which is super annoying. Uh, are we going to double up here? We can get back Virus Beetle and replay it next turn if we don't draw land. We won't, have, we won't get to uh, utilize this one on counter. I think we just take four. We're 24. We're fine. Well, they've got a lot of mana up now, so. We gotta be a little bit careful. <clears throat> Gloom Shrieker for Circuit Mender or just play Tanuki. I don't think we're I don't think we're doing the kick this turn. Kick is probably gonna be a future turn, because uh Tanuki does block preserver. Still not under a ton of pressure. Okay, so here's season. That's cool. So hopefully they tap out for Tanuki here, and then we can just really go for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awkwardly, we have to kill their fang of Sh Shigeki. Uh... And we don't have mana to do this, right? Yeah, we can only do X equals two. That was a misclick. Uh, kill Tanuki, kill Fang. Bye bye. Uh, Rogue Captain for Preserver. I don't think we need to do that. They're already going to double block the Sesh Row. Which actually kills both their creatures rather than a one for one. Maybe we were supposed to, though. Because if they wanted to double block this, they'd take an extra five. Yeah, maybe we were just supposed to do that. Another Tanuk. All right. Now we have eight mana, so we can get back Tails. And I think we will do just that. Yeah, I mean, they'd be at nine right now. Be way worse for them. Uh, I don't think we're attacking with Tanuki. Though. It's one of the ways they get back in this game is by maybe just drawing the right thing at the right time when we don't have uh, any creatures or enough creatures in play or whatever. Searching for an aura. What's it gonna be? Okay, that's not very scary. But they can channel that for uh, for a 1-1 one -one blocker. Uh, one shy on the road, Captain. I guess we put on a Gloom Shrieker and swing out. That's probably the move. It's 
So you make the 1-1. One, one. They can block. They can trade Tanukis and they can double block the Gloom Shrieker. I think that's the best they can do. So they take five down to three. I think we're certainly also getting it with the Beetle then. So you go to two. Uh, yep. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, they go to one. Trample. So we're 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 cruising. Yeah. So I missed. I I think that that was a missed attack. A few turns ago, could this game could have been over. But it still is anyway. So there you go. We'll see you for the next. Opponent goes first. Uh, we have a. Decent curve here. Ambusher picking up Bleach Gauntlet is not great, but I think we keep. Uh, Leech Gauntlet is nice against a red deck, that's for sure. Ah, Wrecking a Raid. I mean, we can pick it up, but... Where were you? Where were you on turn one? Okay, opponent's got the answer to this. Very nice. And we are in an awkward spot here with our mana. Next turn we can play uh, Ambusher Hardcast or Preserver. Opponent's stuck on lands. That's good for us. Uh, I think we go with the Preserver. Yeah, 4-4 four four is going to be pretty big. It'll be a 5-5 five, five next turn off the Seshiro. Okay, opponent finds their planes. All right, so we've got a game here. We have ourselves a game. So we could put that counter on Rogue Captain so that when we play Guidebot, it's cheaper. Ooh, and wish kind of wish we'd done that now. This is now dealing three. Fine if they attack here. We'll take it. Definitely don't want to trade. So we're going to have a 6-6 six, six Vigilance next turn. Guide bot in play. This could just die to Dragon Spark Reactor, but um, I mean, crew four is so much. Ooh, that's a good one. That's this is a good reason to be in. Uh, good reason to be in red, for sure. All right, is this an artifact? No. Whenever this attacks, create a treasure. That is filthy. All right, so Steelbreaker is a 5-5. Five, five. This card is so good. Um, so they can block uh, both things, sack... The 2-2, two, two. Uh, but it's not an artifact, so I can't do that. But they could sack Search Hacker Mac. They could also crew Search Hacker Mac to make it a 5-5. Five, five. That's also fine. So, yeah, I don't think they can really do anything too busted here. Let's draw a card. Oh... Uh, what is this? Four to sack. We could kill Steelbreaker. They have to chump with the 2 2. 
It's thinking crew than the uh, search hacker mech in response, though. Um, tempting. I think we just I think we just attack normally. We actually have enough mana to uh if they crew surge hacker mech and block and they let the preserver through, we could we could ninjutsu it back to our hand discard it to pump Seshiro and the Mukatai Ambusher. That saves Seshiro. They take less damage. This way they're going to one. So I kind of feel like they'd be going to three the other way. And then we don't have a 6-6 six, six on the board. I don't know. Did we, like, miss it? Was there a way to do these do things there that we just didn't, didn't figure it out? Um, I think we just cast Ambusher. We just hard cast it. Make their life difficult here. They need to produce another blocker to live. We're getting into scary territory, though. Don't want them to get a kiki-jiki. Okay, they made a samurai, and they can play another samurai. I think we're good, though. I think we'll get. I think we'll get him with the wheel kick here. Man, this card is so good. Pop, pop, pop. All right. Love me a wheel kick. See you for the next. And... Opponent goes first. Another bad hand for us. Um... I mean, our first play is going to be a three-mana removal spell that might not kill what we need to kill uh, unless we just draw amazingly well. And then we play Besaju, and that's two turns away from actually being a creature. So I think we do have to mulligan here. Plus, we have five lands, and, and we don't need to hit that many lands. Uh, this hand is equally awkward and kind of bad, but uh, we'll take it, I guess. Uh, do we want Assassin's Ink? We can't cast it. Um, so I think we'll put it back. We may not draw a swamp. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. No, we don't really want to put any of these back, so. Um, probably not going to win this game either, unfortunately. Not, it, even though this format isn't super aggro, not having a play on turn two or three is... It's quite punishing. But uh, we'll try our best. We could still draw a three drop here. Or even a two drop. Anything to interact? No. All right. Well, next turn, <laughs> we can play Jukai Preserver. And if they don't have removal, we can... And maybe stabilize. But they're going to get some serious value here. So, I mean, this is a problem with the deck with this many four drops, obviously. But, I mean, that's kind of the way the draft uh, broke for us. So, we'll try the preserver here. Likely to get killed or countered. But uh, hopefully... It, yeah, okay. Uh, 
you know, you have to, I don't think you run out the, the guide bot there. We have to sort of play to our, um, to our outs of actually being able to, uh, block and stabilize and all the rest of it. And, um, because we play the Tawashi guy bot and it sticks. We're still we're just trading it off. It doesn't really get us anywhere. Uh, opponent has life of Tashiro, so yeah, so this runs over. Uh I thought this deck was um pr fairly medium. We didn't have a ton of high power stuff. Uh definitely a little bit unlucky in this draw and in the first loss. The second loss to the ninjas deck was a little bit awkward of a draw, but uh I, you know, that, that game just didn't break our way, but uh, that's the way it goes. Four and three, not the worst. Solid effort from Black Green. Solid little return for us. Um, thank you, as always, for watching. Apologies for the lost uh, match there. If you would like to support the channel, you can go ahead and click like and subscribe. You can leave a comment with your questions. And uh, you can reach out if you'd like to say hello. There's uh, some contact information there if you're interested in coaching. Uh, and all that good stuff, you can contact me right there. This one was going to Twitch. If you want to check out the this, this stream live, uh, twitch.tv slash howtodraftmtg. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye for now.